Hello. In this video, we are going to analyze the common source amplifier and we're going to come up with expressions for its small signal voltage gain, input resistance, and output resistance. So, I have drawn uh, a basic a schematic for a common source amplifier where the input is applied at the gates and the output is taken out of the drain, the source being the common terminal. And since we're trying to come up with an expression for its small signal uh, characteristics, gain input resistance, output resistance, I have drawn the small signal AC equivalent circuit on the right hand side. Um, and so these two circuits, we can say they're equivalent uh, for small AC signals. Uh, so I have my input. Uh, notice that my transistor is what I have encircled in my orange um, area there. And so basically the model consists of there's an open circuit from gate to source and uh, there's a current source from um, drain to source whose value depends on the input signal VGS. It's GM times VGS. And just as a reminder, GM is that MOSFET, uh, the, the transconductance of the MOSFET, uh, which we can calculate using uh, different equations depending on which, uh, depending on what, what values of parameters we have. Um, very often, you know, we're going to have to use the last expression, 2ID over VOV, because uh, that's just being able to calculate depending on the, on the Q bias point, but not always. Uh, so, and oh, notice that I have excluded the little RO resistance from my model, uh, and that's just to simplify calculations. We could include it if we wanted to, um, and that will just go inside the transistor, little RO, in parallel with my current source, and its value would be 1 over lambda times the quiescent drain current, or uh, you know, this will be the equivalent of the early voltage over the drain current, even though, as we have seen, for MOSFET transistors, it's it's more common to see the lambda parameter um, specified. Uh, and so, uh, first of all, let's come up with an expression for the uh, small signal voltage gain by analyzing the small signal equivalent circuit. And again, voltage gain uh, is an expression of the ratio of output voltage over input voltage. So that's what I'm trying to come up with. So, uh, first thing I notice is that my input voltage is equal to my VGS voltage. And that's just because of the uh, connections there. Uh, the source is tied to ground, and uh, V in is the voltage that appears at the gate. And so it turns out to be simply equal to VGS. And V out um, I can calculate as uh, beam. Uh, GM times um, VGS, but I can basically say it's going to be uh, the current um, uh, flowing through resistors, in this case the parallel combination of R out times RD, uh, times the equivalent resistance. I don't know if you can see that, but if my source uh, is being sitting at ground, that means this terminal is sitting at ground, right? And so this current, GM times VGS, it's going to be flowing around that loop because, you know, nowhere else to go. And so it's going to be flowing uh, upwards through RO and RD, the parallel combination. And so the voltage uh, is going to cause a voltage drop in R out and RD. Um, and um, so that V out is going to be negative. It's going to be minus that current, GM VGS, times the parallel combination of those resistors. So I will have my V out being equal to minus GM VGS, the current, times the parallel combination of R out and RD. Now, since I have seen my V in, my VGS is just simply equal to V in, I can also um, express this as just being uh, minus GM V in are out in power with RD. So if I put both of the expressions together, my expression for voltage gain, actually I should have called this VO, because that's how I have it labeled in my circuit. My expression for voltage gain will just be the ratio of the two, Rho you know, over V in. That's V in, so I can 
Solve from that last equation and it's simply equal to negative pm times little o infinite with rd. Um, most often, little o is going to be much larger than rd, and so I'm going to be able to approximate this as negative pm times rd. Um, and this is similar to the expression that we had for. Um, the common meter amplifier where we had minus rd divided by little r e or uh, minus G, uh, rc divided by little r e or gm times minus gm times rc. Um, we can see the similarity perhaps more clearly uh, if we express this as so AB is equal to negative or approximately equal to negative gm rd which can also be expressed as Rd divided by 1 over gm. Uh, and if you recall, little re was exactly the same as 1 over uh, gm. And so those are you know, equivalent expressions. Typically, you will see the first one just because it's a simpler way of writing it. Uh, but if you want to um, generalize it or, or kind of um, bring it closer to what we have seen for the common limited amplifier in the case of BJT. Uh, you can keep you know, the second one in your notes. But that's it, that's the voltage gain for um, the common source amplifier. Notice that this is essentially the transconductance times the output resistance RD. And it's negative because it's an inverting amplifier. Uh, the input resistance, in this case, it's pretty clear that it's infinity. And the output, resi uh, the output resistance are out. Um, I can calculate by uh, turning off my input signal and applying a test source at the output. And it's pretty clear if I turn off my input signal, VGS, is just going to be equal to zero. Basically, I will have the in tied to ground and the source tied to ground, so VGS will be equal to zero. Therefore, my current source, which is dependent on VGS, will be equal to zero, so it will be an open, and so I will be left with um, little r o in parallel with RD. And again, since RD is typically going to be much smaller than little r o, I'm going to be able to approximate that as RD. And so that's my input resistance and output resistance for my common source amplifier. What does that mean? Well, in essence, it means um, I am going to be able to model my common source amplifier as a voltage amplifier with an input resistance and output resistance and a gain. My gain is going to be equal to minus P and R D. This is my R out, approximately equal to R D, and this is my R in, approximately equal to or equal to infinity in the case of the uh, MOSFET, and so I can represent that with an open circuit. And so this is going to be the model for my common source amplifier. With that two port model that we talked about earlier. Okay. Um, things to notice it has similar characteristics as we mentioned to the copper emitter amplifier, but it has higher input impedance, and so it's going to be even more desirable as a, um, um, as a voltage amplifier. So let's make a little note here. Similar. Characteristics to PJT from a limited amplifier, but with higher R in. And so um, you will see that as a desirable phenomenon for especially input stages, even when we're talking about uh, processes that combine bipolar and MOS technology. Um, we will see that because of this characteristic 
uh, MOSFET transistors will uh, often be used at the input stage of amplifiers. Um, and that's about it. Let's go ahead and take a look now at what happens when we connect a source resistor uh, to this common source amplifier. Thank you.